This is Speak My Word Ministries, Travis Zimmerman. The Daily Pulse today is about pride. You know, isn't that a hard thing to talk about? You know, pride, P-R-I-D-E, all about me, I, pride. The Bible has plenty to say about pride. I want to take you into the, into the Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 2. When pride comes, then comes disgrace. But with humility comes wisdom. When pride comes, then comes disgrace. With humility comes wisdom. That's Proverbs chapter 11, verse 2. You know, by way of analogy, you know, pride, we, we get pumped up with pride. So I, I, I found this in the car. You know, I'm a soccer coach, and this is one of those handy little portable pumps where you can, you pump up a soccer ball. It takes you about three, four times as long as a regular pump, but it gets the job done for small, you know, for small soccer balls. But, you know, when someone tells us, wow, you're awesome, they start pumping. And if we don't release that and say, hey, you know, it's, it's only God is good. It's, you know, pump, 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 you're awesome, you're great. My gosh, you do that better than anybody. I never saw anybody who did it this way. Did, did I tell you that you are great? I mean, all these, you know, you are the best skateboarder ever. Oh my gosh, you read so well. Oh, wow, do you, do you, your, your pass was spot on. Oh my gosh, did you see how you handled that presentation? And it's very easy. It's, it's almost like carbon monoxide poisoning. It's, it's insidious. You know, it, it just it just eases in. We hear it very slowly. We, you know, we don't even sense it. And all of a sudden, we're puffed up with pride. And suddenly, it's not about God anymore. It's about us. It's about us. And I do these things. And I'm going to do this. And I think this. And what I say matters. And it's, it's this I. And as they say, there's no I in team. But there is I in pride. And it's right in the middle of it. P-R-I-D-E. So if you found this, I mean, and as I've shared before, you could, you're talking very quickly because so oftentimes that's my sin. So oftentimes it, it's so easy to get that pride where you think it's that you're doing it when truly, truly it's Jesus that helps. We are evil to the core to the bone. In fact, if it weren't for Jesus, we would be consigned to hell. No second chances. But because Jesus came and died on that cross and took our sins with him, and by believing in his name, for doing for us what we couldn't do for ourselves, he can help us remove that pride, the sin of pride. It's not the worst sin, but it's a sin. And it's a sin that often is a stomach block for many. So don't let pride pump you up. Deflate that and say when, when, when credit is given to you or you know in your heart when, when you can say, you know, thank you, God allowed me to do it. Or in not feign false humility, you know when, you know when it's right and when it's wrong. Trust God in that and give God the glory. He deserves it all. We deserve none of it. We are here to serve him and bring glory and honor to him. In Jesus' name, amen.